As a child, um, we used to go to church. What I remember mostly is Easter and Christmas times. Well, there was God and Jesus, that's all I knew. I didn't know what it was to walk in a relationship with Christ. Ended up uh, moving out when I was 17. I uh, became pregnant at 19, and um, I didn't want this baby. I thought I had a choice to abort or not abort. Just there was a feeling that just kept coming up that it will be okay, that I could, will love this baby, and I'll be able to take care of this baby. So I had him, <laughs> and um, it was the best day of my life up wow. to that point. I can remember the love and the joy that I had on that day. So then I met my husband. Um, about eight months later, my husband and I we were both we were both kind of wild when we met each other. My husband, uh, from the beginning, pretty much drank daily. The addiction affected our marriage, the entire marriage. His actions leave me feeling unloved. My actions leave him feeling unrespected. So after we were here in Arkansas, um, our son Stephen started at Fellowship uh, Bible Church, and I was just seeing the light of Christ in him. There was a change. He told us about a White River Fellowship, and so we went. From that day on, we the first day in church, we were um, asked to join a community group. In that community group, they were just really strong Christians in it. And it was that year that uh, I was regenerated in Christ. My eyes were open to His Word. I experienced a joy like no other, the joy He speaks of. I was able to forgive myself. I was able to forgive my husband. A lot of things did change in our relationship, but um, he continued to keep um, some things still for himself. That was his drinking. And so as I became a Christian and was growing in his word, that was my um, obedience. Was I wanted to be obedient to God in my marriage, regardless of what my husband was doing. It wasn't easy. It doesn't mean I was going to be happy. and. Um, our son came to us again because he was getting ready to start a family. He uh, basically let us know <laughs> that he didn't want his grandchildren around, his grandfather drinking. Do I pick grandchildren or the husband who I was now trying to walk with Christ in obedience? Uh, he came to my husband and told him about CR, Celebrate Recovery. And I guess it's God's timing because my husband said yes, he'd go to CR. And he went, and that's been five and a half years ago now. No alcohol. Our marriage is one now of a mature love in Christ. And it's joyful because we came through so much and we could have lost so much. Well, I just feel now, looking back, that um, I feel like God used Stephen to bring Christ into our home because I made the right choice so long ago. I don't know where my life would be if I had made a different choice. That was, I believe, the journey way before we can ever know in God's timing when things happen.